I know what I possess. I know who I am. And as you can see, I'm the most exciting out of all, all two of those guys. These guys don't bring the excitement like I bring. And Tyson Fury is the most boring one of all of, of us, too. You know, so I think I just continue to do what I do and, and do what I do best. And that's not these guys out silly. You know, I'm not in competition with none of them. You know, uh, they're great guys. They're great fighters themselves. And I, I, I expect them to be their sales. Don't don't add no pressure onto it. Do what y'all guys do, and Deontay Wilder is gonna do what he do. I mean, well, it's, it's it's simple. You know, if they take the time and take a deep breath and sit back and reflect on the past and what has happened, and I know we're in the we're in the present right now, and the future is bright as well too. But if you look back in the past and sit back and see what Deontay has already have tried to do, him and his team has tried to do. Let's start out with Fury first. With Fury, since Fury felt like no, nah, it was you know. Everyone got the that that everyone got that perspective of him beating me uh, uh, twelve out of ten rounds from ESP um, from 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 Showtime with Steve Forhood cars and 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 the comment commentaries coming being on Fury side the whole way through you know and I worked with these guys and they they you know bigging him up more than I so when you get new peoples come in. They don't know what they're looking at. They don't know what's going on. So they're going to look for the so-called experts of the sport and listen to them. So let's let's start from there. They carry away with that. So if you carry, if if if, if I'm a fighter, and I'm thinking, hey, I beat his ass, you know, t- uh, twelve out of ten rounds. You know, my first reaction is I want an immediate reaction. If I feel like I got done wrong, you want an immediate reaction because you know you want an immediate rematch because you know the second rematch, man. If I if I if I beat him that wide of a margin, then shit, the rematch ain't nothing. That's going to be simple. It's going to be easy. So what we did, I said, hey, no, nah, now nah, you didn't. I whooped your ass. I was the more aggressor. I the one came. Hey, what's, what was what, you know what was the what was the main highlight of the fight the whole night? I think we all can answer that. Is Fury getting knocked on his ass and getting back up? That was the whole highlight of the whole fight. <laughs> So, and that's saying, I'm like, hey, I won. So I want a rematch. I want to, as a champion, instead of moving forward, I want to give you this rematch. I want to bless you. So what did he do? So if you are a guy that knows that you're beating me with a wide margin, you immediately take that rematch. You don't run and get other fighters or get tuned up. So you immediately take that. Fury know I gave him a concussion. He didn't, when you get a man that don't understand how he got on the ground nor how he got up, his brain has been shook. He don't want that fight no more. He don't want to get in no more. This is, this is the common sense of a fighter. But as a fighter, we must, we must, we must, you know, promote ourselves. We must carry this type of, you know, this ego of like, I'm the man and I did this and that because we don't want people to look upon us as punks or somebody that's scared. Well, if you're a fighter, you don't supposed to be scared. Well, we're human beings as well, too. So deep down inside, he knows the real reason. That's why he's fighting another guy. That's why he had the contract in his, in his face for five days to a week and then sign it. And when Showtime came, when ESPN came along and all them, yeah, it sounded good because they knew I was in the back of that. They knew the rematch was coming. They wanted me on, on, on the back of that, you know. So that right there already killed his theory of, 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 of trying to fight. He didn't want that fight. Oh, it would have been happy. I wouldn't have had to fight my mentor. I would have went straight to Fury and then got, my, then got that fly out of the way in Brazil. With Joshua, <laughs> four months, <laughs> we tried. You know, four different occasions, maybe five different occasions, 12, 12.5, 15 flat feet. He said, he want, I want 50-50. We gave that to him. Wait, no, my, 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 my country deserved uh, me to fight here, so I'm going to fight here. So he didn't want to fight. Then the zone thought they was going to step in and make the fight. Then they had to come back and apologize because they wasn't prepared for us. That's what, four or five times we tried to make the fight? Now they're crying because they don't have nowhere to go? Man, hey. The fans, go back and study it. Go back and look and see who really is the king of the division, who really tried to make these fights. And when you come back, you will find yourself being in a better place, and you'll, be, you'll come with peace with yourself. Thank you. I mean, it means a lot. It means a, it means a great deal to me. It's, it means a lot of accomplishment. You know, it means that I've proved so many people wrong, and still to this day, it proven people wrong. So, you know, you know it's going to be a great accomplishment, not only just to pass so many great fighters 
that they came before me, but to continue to go uh, go further and to to be the number one guy, to 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 be a hard act to follow. I still got a long way to go to what I want to do in this sport, and uh, I will accomplish everything I set forward to doing. I'm an amazing fighter, I'm an amazing talent, and I got an amazing team behind me. And with that combination, man, sky's the limit. Oh, most definitely. <laughs> oh, man, and that's not a laugh for George. That's an evil laugh right there. You know, in a, a, a evil scene, the, the evil man got a laugh. <laughs> that's my evil laugh. Uh, I think the most the, the, the most exciting I've been and want to hurt a man so bad was back in 2015 with Berman Stavern, and we all know what happened to him. And, and the second time was just play around with him, you know. So, you know, with this one right here, behind the story that comes behind it, people got to understand when you're dealing with Deontay Wilder, every, you know, I, I'm passionate about what I say. I'm passionate about what I do and what Dominique Brazil and how he – displayed himself on that on that night because I put him on my car. He, he didn't have to be on my car. But you come to my hometown and cause this mess, and, and you, like I said before, you want to start this drama and act like you was the victim and your wife was the victim. And, you know, I guarantee you right now, they, they don't even know what their kids was during that moment in time. But I can tell you where they was. They was with my brothers. They was guarding them as if those kids was mine. You know, and I don't like it. I'm a man. I can accept my faults. I can, I can, I can accept my wrongdoings. But when you get a guy like him, like I said, he's a guy that'll come in your business and waste water, waste ice, and, and and slip on it and purposely and try to sue you for money. He's an opportunist, and I don't like that. So I needed this boost as a champion of the division. I needed this boost because, like I said, I never thought about investing in myself the way I've done. You know, to to be a champion and get away with so many different things, man, it's it's been crazy. But now. I've turned every stone over, man. This is the most exciting camp that I've ever had, you know, in my entire life. I feel it tops all camps. And I needed this reignition in my life. I needed this extra boost because I will do what I say I'm going to do in that ring tonight. I'm going to damn near try it. <laughs> Guarantee you that. Right. No, no, it wasn't It wasn't hard for me. You know, I, I mean, you got to look at what I've been through. You know, like I said, I keep talking about the past. You know, you got to see what I've been through with different guys disappointing me, uh, you know, failing drug tests, making me lose out on a lot of money and stuff like that. So I understand the business of boxing. And I know that if you have something in place one minute, the next minute it could be gone just like that. You know what I mean? And once you go through this cycle and you go through it over and over again, you kind of get the understanding, a better understanding of boxing and, and what what's to come. You know, nothing is guaranteed until to, to that bell ring and, and that guy throws the first blow. And as we can see, even when the bell rings, it ain't certain until that first blow is thrown because we got guys that will get out the damn ring, time the bell ring, you know what I mean? So things like that has prepared me. And I understand as a fighter, you know, because I try to play two different, you know, I, I understand as a fighter why he made that decision. I hurt Tyson Fury very badly. I gave him a cushion. Like I said, this man had memory lost. And that's that's not healthy. That's not healthy for you. And as a man, as a man with a family, hey, if you need a warm up, a tune up to see if your marbles back in place, go do that. Take as many warm ups you need. We understand. He said he got three more fights, and then he out of here. And we all know why he's gonna be out of here because shit, that one of those fights leads up to me, <laughs> and, and and I'm gonna finish it. You know, I'm gonna finish the job. You know, so I understand it all. I'm not a guy that, that that can't understand things, even in everyday life. If someone going through something, I try to, my mind is, like I said, it's so big, a spaceship is fitting it. So when you were describing something, you're telling me something, I try to take my mind in a virtual reality and put myself in your position. And I try to look at every aspect possible and try to go and understand. So I understand why he made that decision. I understand it all. And go get healthy because I want the best I want the best theory when that time comes, you know, just like I want with all these guys because I don't want no excuses. I don't want nobody saying this and that. I'm the only fighter that can come in with, with damaged arms and, and, and body not feeling well and still knock you out because I am blessed. My grandma said I was anointed by God, <laughs> and what she was so right. If anybody's going to dictate my career, it's going to be myself. You know, I understand how it is to have a promoter and what comes in the contracts of, of having a promoter. But when you get to a certain point, 
and you know you're the talent, you're the one put feeling this, the, the, the people in the seats and they come in to see your talent, you know, and if you have the opportunity, why not take a chance on yourself? You know, why not bet on yourself? And I have a smart team that, that educate me and guide me through, no matter what people say, you know, about certain people, you know. I have a wonderful team, man. I, you know, me and Shell and Jay and, and, and you know, we started with them. We always say we're going to start – we started together, we're going to end together. And we, when we brought Al on, that even more made my team strong. So who I'm with now – is who I'm going to end with. And they're guiding me all the way through. They're going to make sure that not only do I go in history, but they go in history as well as a team. And, and it's a blessing feeling to have such a strong team in a business that's so dirty, you know. And, and that's why we said we're betting on myself. I have everything established and set for myself, my own promotion. And uh, we're looking forward to do great things. Not only, you know, not only after I retire and get away from the sport, but, Things were going to stay alive with the promotion. We look, we're very serious in promotion. I know a lot of guys. Oh, I got a promotion company. I'm like, you know, that sounds good, but what do you really want to do with it? And I'm in it for the long run. You know, I think I have the the talent and ability to display myself, and in, in, in a way that people it can bring excitement, as I've already done. But the next step is to come, and outside of the ring, I think I'm gonna be able to promote fighters and be able to talk about them and not about myself you know, and be able to really promote fighters and bring the next Deontay Wilder or the next whoever they want to be. I always tell, you know, just like I tell my brother, I don't want you to be just like me. I want you to be better than me. I'm a type of person that that even if you do better than me, I'm happy for you. And a lot of people is not like that because some people, if you get equal to them or higher than them, they get they, that's when the jealousy and envy come. I'm not that type of person. My heart is, is of gold. I'm a provider. I'm a protector. And I love to see people do great, even if it's better than I. May 18th is the time. You know, uh, I thank everyone for being patient with this this little thing that we got going on in the heavyweight division. Just look at it and consider that the excitement is back in the heavyweight division. The fire is lit. And, you know, it's like I, I'm more excited than I've ever been in my career because of everything that's going on with it. So I ask people just to be patient and we'll come patient comes time and we've got to be able to even both out patience and time because they all work together. You're going to get the, the, the main fights that you guys want to see. The great thing about it that we're all still in discussion. You know, I can understand if it was a closed door on certain teams and we're not having no discussion with nobody, then it'll be something that really would be a laid out or thrown out thing. But everyone is still in the discussion and, and talking and it's just going to take a little time, but I just, just tell the people, you know, the, the fans of boxing, the people that's coming in boxing, you know, everyone just to have patience, the big fights are going to happen. And you know that when the big fights happen, you know that Deontay Wilder is involved in it because most of these guys, they live by the, they live by the motto of less, less risk with high rewards. But we've known that I took high risk with low rewards and that, you know, and, but we've gotten smarter. We've proven ourselves. And we we we've doing our own thing. Like I said, we're betting on ourselves. And when I bet on myself, you're gonna get great response. You're gonna get great shows out of me. And and I'm looking forward to May 18th. So I see you guys there, and I'm ready for May 18th. And support me like none none before, baby. So I'm ready to go. Let's do it, baby. And.